All right, it's treacherous getting through here. There's lots of records everywhere. Because it's time for Vinyl Happy Hour and I've been enjoying some amazing records this week that I wanna share with you. And that's why we do this weekly because every Friday new releases come out. So with Vinyl Happy Hour, we like to feature the top five releases for the week or something interesting or a special indie store exclusive. So we've got a little bit of all of that for you here. And I am Skylar Davis, owner of Culture Shock Clothing and Records. Huge vinyl fan, fan of so many types of music, so I love sharing this with you. Uh, also, cultureshockshop.com is our website where you can find the records we're talking about. Uh, at least in the meantime, I know some of these are limited and maybe sold out uh, by the time you're checking this out, but please do check the staff picks link below uh, for some of these uh, releases we're talking about and some other new releases. Uh, Mama, this is a good one too. I wanna talk about that first. So this is a brand new release that's dropping this week from a younger band called Mama. This is Household Name, and it is on the Polyvinyl label. And you can see Red Vinyl, they did a nice gatefold. I love the old school, looks like a little Subaru uh, station wagon, like there. looks like their little tour bus, tour van. Looks like a lot of fun. This is cool because I'm a fan of the 90s, of course, and uh, there's a lot of throwback in a lot of music right now. Uh, this band is no exception. There's some really great alternative and 90 sounding feels to this record. This isn't an indie store exclusive per se, but it is cool that they did it kind of on this red vinyl. So it's kind of a limited pressing. Just a cool, you know, uh, the two girls are the founders of the band and writers of the songs and just a great sound they've got here. Really 90s, like I said, you're gonna hear a lot of Nirvana and Pavement, but also I hear a lot of like garbage breeders for sure. Uh, and some of those bands, so hopefully that's hitting a couple keys for you that'll make you want to pick this up, check it out, because uh, it's highly worth it. Uh, there's some dreamy, kind of like those dreamy shoegazy parts too. It's just a fun album, just a really good list and a single LP, not a double LP, so it's a nice short uh, to the point album, you know, 10 tracks or so on it, and I like every single one of them. But there is definitely reminders of a lot of those types of bands in it, so definitely check it out. They did a really nice thick gatefold packaging. I think it comes with a download as well printed inner sleeve with the lyrics. Nice thick inner sleeve as well. Nice thick slab of wax. Uh, very cool. So uh, they were actually signed like during the pandemic. So this is only their third album. Uh, so a pretty young band. They've only been around just a few short years. Ah, download card in there sticking. So we'll check that one out too. That is a brand new release. They already have a couple tracks that were streaming, which we're definitely gonna be worth checking out. But the whole album is as good as those singles that are out. Uh, let's talk about the next one. This is very exciting to me, but also kind of sad because I don't think you'll be able to get this right now. They already sold out. This is the new Porcupine Tree album. This is so good. This is Closure Continuation. Um, they're very mathy, very proggy, but kind of metal. Uh, hopefully you already know Porcupine Tree. If you don't, you might have heard of Steven Wilson. Uh, it's an English band and he's also been really responsible for doing some solo albums and remastering and reissuing a lot of classic prog rock mostly. He's done uh, a lot of work also on the remastering of the Black Sabbath and the Jethro Tull and stuff like that. And it makes sense because that's definitely the kind of music he's into. But it took me a while to actually dip my feet into Porcupine Tree as well. Um, so I'm just going to kind of throw out a little bit of how I feel about it and see if that is enough to intrigue your interest or whatever to get you to check them out but there is so many elements of of metal and prog and just experimental and even sometimes some industrial and other things but this band is like uh, a little bit of like the classic older stuff like a little bit of genesis and you know jethro tall and stuff but mixed with the better elements of the jam band like fish uh, i definitely hear some darker elements though like tool and perfect circle uh, but a band that i've been enjoying a lot for many years is Mars Volta. And there are some of these kind of technical interesting parts too that do give me a little bit of vibe of that. So this is a double LP from Porcupine Tree. They have printed inner sleeves for both and this is an indie store exclusive white vinyl. This was actually out last week. I actually wanted to talk about a different album but uh, I didn't have time. So I just wanted to kind of feature show it off and hopefully you check out the band. This one you won't find at the moment. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get more, but even the black, it's only been out a week, and already the black vinyl and even the white vinyl versions of this, the indie store versions, are sold out. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting the way they do their artwork. It makes sense for them and the way 
everything. This is like laboratory. It looks like abbreviations for chemistry or something like that. And they're very kind of smarty, mathy, interesting kind of a metal. But also it's like side one, side two, it's got the track listing, you know, just two long tracks usually on each side of the album is a double LP on white vinyl. Mm -hmm. This is this has been 12 years since they've actually put on an album. It's been quite a while for Porcupine Tree. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, man, this is gonna be one of my top albums of the year though, probably, I can tell already, I really dig it. Uh, so check that out. Uh, this is just a, a brief one I'd like to mention. We got some stuff here. There's not a lot to look at on this one, but this is a very lonely solstice on color vinyls, clear vinyl from the Fleet Foxes, from Fleet Foxes. I mean, not the Fleet Foxes, get it right. But this was one I wasn't too sure what it was coming out, and this was a live album that they had recorded also, like at the beginning of the pandemic 2020, so kind of ranked this up there with like an MTV Unplugged or something for Fleet Foxes. Uh, it's got some songs from their whole career. This is like the limited clear version. Uh, so from all of their albums, including their most recent one. Uh, but this was actually recorded at a church in New York uh, during like the lockdown and stuff like that. So it's got a very kind of acoustic, very stripped down feel to it being recorded in a church. It's a great sounding album. So definitely check that out if you're interested in a, a nice compilation of uh, the Solstice tunes from Fleet Foxes. Uh, we'll come to this one last. I got, I got, there's a little bit to show off with that one. Let's talk about Haunted Shores though really quick. This is a project that I remember hearing about a while back and then I forgot about it. This is the new release from Haunted Shores called Void. Very epic artwork, a very dark metal looking of course. But the vinyl is very cool. Black inner sleeve. This is a gold base they're saying with black swirl on it. Uh, very cool looking piece of wax too. Well, Haunted Shores though, these are the side project from the guitarist of Periphery. So if you're familiar with them, very technical, we're calling kind of like gent metal or something like that and math metal, metal core. Um, just super epic, super heavy. It has a lot of twists and turns. This is all instrumental though. And there's definitely even like some thrash and death metal elements and metalcore elements. Really chug, really heavy, just really some brutal riffs here and there too, but the way it changes and just kind of ebbs and flows, it's a very cool instrumental listen. Uh, and of course the vinyl is a very cool color variant. This is definitely appeal to fan, fans of Periphery, if you know who them, but uh, even if you just want some instrumental metal or something like that, just something a little more technical, very interesting, uh, check out the Haunted Shores Void. Uh, also very cool, very cool color wax on that too. A lot of these things are color vinyl. I mean, not all of these are indie store exclusives. I forgot to mention maybe that the Porcupine Tree is an indie store exclusive, that variant. So that color, the white one, was only made for independently owned record stores. So thank you for supporting your local record stores and picking up those special variants or any album that you get. It's just a huge help to help us keep things turning and keep new things coming in. Of course, uh, for our locals, you know, we can stop in and you can order for in-store pickup. But even if you don't live locally anywhere in the 48 states, this link is in the YouTube video to cultureshockshop.com to check that out. So this one is not a lot to show off. This is my final one, kind of my little feature. This actually came out last week, but it, it's been in the making for quite a while and finally got released. This is Kanye West Donda, but oh my God, this is like all black. This is gonna be a contender for like maybe my top 10 black albums that were made because it's all black. It's black with vinyl, black wax, quadruple gatefold, all black, no, any writing on it if there is any, it's just very light gray. Um, but this is a big old epic album. If you haven't listened to that or haven't given Kanye West a chance on his later albums just because of perhaps some of his behavior, the way he is and the things that get said and he does, I mean, I understand. But his music is definitely, that, and the collaborators that he works with and the other guest vocalists and rappers and stuff like that. See, all black inner sleeves, all four records, all four records are just black. There is a Def Jam logo with some other info on the record, just in very light lettering, but just a very strange release. And what's also just funny about this album is that this is a very spiritual album in a way. There's lots of um, spiritual references and messages and even choirs and other things like that working together uh, with Kanye and all of the, the stuff going on. Uh, a lot of collaborators, like I said, it's a four record, so it's a very long album. And there are so many great parts that just the beats that roll in and the way things ebb and flow and the way that things link up, like ambient sounds and vocals and noises, 
just kind of become music and become sound. Uh, and it's very soothing, actually. It's a very cool album, very cool release. So if you're thinking back to, you know, early 2000s, like Banger Makers from, you know, Kanye, this is, this is a big trip from that. You know, this is a big diversion from that. It's a lot different. Uh, but there are still those parts when it does hit so well that make it worth the journey, I think. Um, so yeah, that's really not much more I can say about that. I do think it's funny that it's so dark and so black and so minimal, even though he's got such a, a spiritual message and things like that. It's almost like, is, uh, are we being messed with here? Like, is there really like, you know, um, but I had almost started to put together when this had come out here a few months ago, I want to put together a list of like the best all black albums or the top all black albums, you know, like the essentially like Spinal Tap, if you've seen that movie, like they did a, an album that was so dark and so heavy, it was just all black. There's just nothing on it, no words or anything, nothing's heavier than that. Obviously there's the Metallica's Black album and like even Weezer did a Black album. So if you wanna shoot me a message or leave some comments, like uh, give me some ideas, preferably only things that have been released in physical format on vinyl. I wanna do a ranking or a listing of all the records that are like no artwork or hardly any artwork where it's just all black for the most part or it's known as their black album or something so uh, I'll put the Kanye West one in there in the drawing for now we'll see if it can make a top 10 list if I do all black albums but I think that'd be a great fun idea to do a video with uh, so please like I said follow our social media too there are so many great releases popping out every Friday for new releases uh, we also just had the record store day kind of the drop two of that uh, so of course the next one won't be till Black Friday but uh, every week Check out these new releases, and I'd love to hear what you're listening to. Please follow the channel, give us the likes and all that good stuff, uh, because we love the feedback and love the encouragement to see what you're into also. So, thanks for watching Final Happy Hour. Cheers.